before we get into today's video, if you guys play Warzone, if you play Rebirth, guys, I'm trying to record a clip for the vlog. I'm trying to record a clip for the vlog. The dogs just want to play super bad right now, but if you guys play Warzone, Rebirth, anything like that, tonight over on my Twitch channel, we're going to be doing some Warzone customs. I'd love for you guys to be a part of it. I'm going to throw my Activision ID up on the screen. Send me a friend request. So that way you guys can join up on the customs tonight. Also, make sure you guys are following me on my Twitch. The link is right in the description. Let's get into today's video. You hanging out with Lance? You helping Lance edit? Hi, Harley. Gear. Oh, They're still trying to get like adjusted to the house and everything. Jackson's the worst. Still looks like 90 pounds, dude. No, he's not that much. He's only like 75. Jackson, he just called you fat. <laughs> well, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. What do you think about the house so far? It's nice. It's coming along, yeah, right? No, it looks great. Game room's fire. I still have to clean. I just have like mad sh everywhere. It happens, dude. You just got here, you know? You yeah. I feel like I've gotten so much done since I've been here, though. Yeah. Do you see all the decorations and shit that I hung up? Yeah, it looks good. Definitely yeah. feels like a home, right? Feels more homey. I like it better than the apartment for sure. 100%. It's less square footage, but it just feels. It more feels open. feels bigger. Lance decided to come over today. He's working on trying to get his vlog uploaded right now. He had to stop at the supercharger and charge before he came down. But what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna let him use the supercharger in my garage, so that way he'll just be able to drive home. Won't have to charge up. So while Lance is doing that, I'm gonna go through the house, just pick up some of the little stuff, put some of the tools away. I really do need to work on cleaning out the garage because this entire box right here is all stuff that needs to go in the garage also that box over in the corner over there and this box over here by the couch i mean actually i think this one's got some like decorations and shit in it it's got some decorations some fishing stuff in there some tesla carbon fiber parts that i should probably just put on my car but yeah this is mostly more garage stuff also i ended up ordering a new bed frame so i bought these end tables and seeing them next to this bed frame that i have it's kind of just the metal rails right now end tables over here they're like really small so i'm gonna end up getting a bed frame that sits lower to the ground so that way the end tables don't look as small. Lance is still getting his vlog uploaded. In the meantime, I had bought these things for the dogs. Basically, it's this screw. You screw it into the ground. It's got a 25-foot leash on it. So that way the dogs could run around, have some free space until I get a fence put up. Well, that didn't go so well. So I screwed the stakes into the ground right here. Harley took off running, snapped her harness. She ran over there. Jackson took off running. There's these little rings right here that are supposed to support dogs up to 90 pounds. Obviously not probably a 70-pound dog running at full speed. Jackson literally snapped the ring right right off. So the dogs were running around. That is kind of a busy road over there. So I was like freaking out, but I was able to get them back inside, get them all taken care of. But these things are definitely going to be a no go. So I need to get a permit for the land to figure out exactly like what my property line is. So that way I can get someone out here and quote me on what it's going to be to get a fence installed. In the meantime, while Lance's vlog is going up, we're hungry. So I think we're going to head over, grab some Chick-fil-A, grab a bite to eat. And then once we get back, I'm going to have to move my car. Lance will back up. You're going to have to come into the garage just a little bit. You're going to have to come in the garage because this is as far as the charger goes okay i'll back it to I'll like i'll back it in turn it around like right here that'll work yeah. this is the closest it comes cool thanks bro Appreciate yeah it. and um, then obviously once i get the garage cleaned out if you ever come down or whatever the garage will be clean so you can just back right into the garage bro, you have a pressure washer i need to clean my car like i have a hose yeah not a pressure washer i have a hose i have a bucket the only thing i don't have is car wash soap bucket and mop no whatever no, I got that. I got the bucket, the mop, I got a Swiffer, and I definitely got some wet ass. Yeah, men's are soaked. I got a bunch of detail shit too. Sprays, rags, like all that stuff. I just don't have car wash soap. Mine's pretty bad as well. Dude, the bugs out here are ridiculous. Just like you said, it's like a million. Yeah, no, you can wash your car, have it perfectly clean, drive for 15 minutes down here, and the front is just covered in bugs. And it's not even love bug season yet. I thought they were bad in Jersey. They were even worse. Have you experienced? No, you haven't even experienced the love bugs Dude, down I'm here. I got some bugs. Yeah, right speaking now. of chewing on, I don't know if you guys can tell how swollen my ankle is right now. I got bit by like three fire ants, so it's hurting. But let's go get some Chick-fil-A. I'm fucking hungry. Bird's been using your car as target practice. Yeah, for real. It's got bird yeah. shit everywhere. Oh, hold on. Let me grab my wallet. Need a bucket and a mop for this wet ass. What you need to do is utilize your windshield I wiper did. fluid. Watch, it doesn't do anything, dude. I spray it like 20 times. It doesn't do shit. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah. Plug it in, plug it in. Yes, sir. 
This will give you like 50 miles an hour. I uh, wasted like 100 miles coming here. It's a 60 mile drive. But... Yeah, so that's the thing with these cars. I don't know if you've realized it. So inaccurate. So inaccurate. Yeah. It's like not even, even remotely you close. The speed limit, bro. Did you know that in chill mode, in sport mode, or plaid mode, it's all how fast you accelerate. That's what eats your battery. Yeah. Like if you're on the highway in sport mode or chill mode, it doesn't matter. And you're doing 70 miles an hour cruise control set, it's gonna burn the same gotcha. amount of battery. I thought plaid mode, the difference between like plaid and sport. I thought sport used two motors and plaid used three, but I guess it doesn't matter. No, uh, it's still it's still gonna use the same amount of battery to go that speed. Yeah. We got our Chick-fil-A, <laughs> about to eat some food. So you guys know Lance and I went to Chick-fil-A. Just notice this. Written on the side of the cup, it says, We love your grandma. Right. That's so funny. That's hilarious. That's actually really funny. Just getting the day started today. Lance ended up leaving his camera at my house house last night. I needed to run up there today anyways. I have to check my mailbox at my apartment. I was also planning on checking my P.O. box as well. I do need to grab a few other things from the apartment. Just a couple little things, so we're gonna head up there and do that. And then Lance and I are gonna be heading over to the shop. We both need to wash our cars. They're absolutely filthy. So that's what we have planned today. I left the house. I forgot to grab a hat. My hair is kind of all over the place. I literally just got out of the shower. Also, I am trying something new. I am trying to leave Jackson out of his crate today. Since since I am in a new house, there's no carpet to worry about him chewing up. I'm just hoping that he doesn't destroy anything else. I did set up a doggy camera so that way I can talk to him, keep an eye on him. Kind of just want to try something new and see if I can get him comfortable with being by himself. Even though he has Harley there, at the apartment I always had to keep him in his crate. So we'll see how it goes. He definitely was seeming a little bit nervous when I left the house today, I could tell. But I left out a bunch of toys for him. I put friends on the TV for him so there's some background noise. He's got water, he's got everything. He he could possibly need. Hopefully if he feels the need to chew on something, he chews on one of his toys and not something important in the new house. But I'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know how it goes. Well, I mentioned we were planning on washing the cars today, but it looks like I'm driving into a rainstorm as we speak. It's gonna start getting pretty bad here in a second. It's like I'm driving into a wall of rain. There it is. We'll see how much this cleans off my car though. Oh yeah really raining now holy cow gotta love florida just like that we're out of the rain oh nope oh wait if you guys are ever thinking about planning on moving to florida this is something that you're gonna have to deal with and something that the florida rain and i have in common is just as quickly as it comes is as quickly as it goes got the tesla packed up got like a lamp bunch of bags of stuff i still have all my fishing stuff in here probably should have unpacked that before i came up here but i didn't got my tv off the wall in the room and that's basically everything i have a fan left here that that I'm gonna have to come and get on Saturday. Saturday, I'm gonna be cleaning up the apartment, vacuuming, wiping down the walls, stuff like that, just getting it as clean as I possibly can for the maintenance, see if maybe I can get some sort of security deposit back, not counting on it because the carpet is completely because of Jackson. But other than that, I mean, I have the fan that I need to grab. I have this big box of phone cases that I need to grab. And then what else? I think I have like two boxes in my closet, two tiny little boxes, a couple things in my laundry room that I'll need to grab. But other than that, the apartment's basically empty. So right now, before I have heat stroke, we're going to head off to the PO box, check that, see if we got anything. And then we're going to head up and meet Lance at the shop, get the cars all washed up. Andrew hit me up tonight and asked me if I wanted to do some night fishing in Sarasota. And he works in Sarasota. So I was like, oh, you're just going to go after work. And he's like, no, I'm going to drive home first. He lives in Northport, which is only like 10 minutes away from my house. So he's going to drive all the way back to Northport and then wants to drive all the way back up to Sarasota to do some fishing. That might be something that we possibly do. I'm not hundred percent sure yet. I do have all my fishing stuff with me, so I'm definitely prepared, but let's head off to the PO box. See what we got today. So we got a couple things in the PO box today. One of them being this Bass Pro hat. I think this is from my buddy, Connor. Connor, thank you for the Bass Pro hat. I don't have this color yet. You guys know I love my Bass Pro hats. So thank you for sending this. Also, I ended up getting some cologne. Um, It's called Wake Heart by Ethan Dolan. I've never heard of this before. I do know who Ethan Dolan is. I actually used to play basketball with him back when I first moved to LA and started hanging out with Lance. I don't even know what this smells like. I'm going to open it up and see if it smells good. But thank you guys for sending stuff to the P.O. Box. I actually just found out my P.O. Box at this post office expires the 30th of this month. So it kind of works out. I'm going to let that expire and then I'm going to be getting a new P.O. box a little bit closer to my house down in Port Charlotte so that way I don't have to drive all the way over here just to hit the P.O. box. Thank you guys for everything that you sent. I'm gonna smell this cologne and see how it smells. I think it's cologne. It does say you you are de cologne or whatever the hell it says in French. It smells good but it kind of smells like Victoria's Secret so I don't 
I don't know. I would have to try it. See how it smells on me? Because it's almost like a very, very fruity flavor. It smells good. It smells really good. I just don't know if it's a guy cologne or if it's a girl perfume. I would assume it's cologne. It says cologne on it. But can girls wear cologne too? Or do they wear perfume? Or isn't like perfume stronger than cologne? I don't you know if you guys know let me know in the comments it does smell pretty damn good though i'm not gonna lie thank you for sending this Sheesh. Dalton finally made an upgrade i wish you upgraded your car but downgraded your face <laughs> man's literally shaved his beard <laughs> he looks 12. lance has been waiting here for a minute and pulled up and he's like i don't know if that's dalton or not this shit looks sick though i really like the color yeah, because they have, what, the Velocity Blue and then Co Cora Blue, or... Yeah, Velocity Blue, Kona Blue, and Crest. What's the other blue? Kona Blue. Clo Kona Blue, there you go, that's what I was talking about. Already got the Euros on it. Dude, everything that you see on the car besides the Lone Springs came on it. Yeah, not a bad deal at all. I like the wheels, I like the lime green calipers, too. Yeah, but did you notice something? They didn't take sh** off. They just said, oh yeah, they, they just sprayed it all. But he's already got horses, euros. Courses are already on it. Horses are already on it. But other than that, it's basically stock, right? Basically stock stock. No intake. Bone stock. Bone stock. Still got cats, so it's not allowed to mine or prices. Sounds really good. I really like the bumper, dude, the front bumper. You know what sucks about that? Truck driver, all this up. You can relate to that. Yeah, but his is still intact. Is that for that's from a tire though? No, no, no. That's from the truck driver. Like the guy that was delivering the truck. Oh, yeah. what when he loading it and unloading it? And unloading it. Oh dude, I'd be pissed. Well it's even worse. What the hell is that from? The screw. The screw? JC didn't know because when the truck driver took it off, he kinda like mocked it up so it looked like he was okay. Yeah. JC took off. Oh dude, I'd be I'd be so pissed. Yeah, all this is unclipped right here. Oh yeah, that's unclipped. And he fed up this side too. Yep, look at this side here. The car is wrapped. Dalton's actually working on doing lowering springs on this right now. There's the color. Yeah, it's like a chrome green almost. Chrome green. They just got lazy and said, F it. I'm not peeling it off. Car looks sick though. I don't know how well you guys can hear me because Dalton's fucking going crazy with that impact back there, but got the car cleaned up. Lance refuses to clean his glass. I did everything else, bro. I'm tired. Yeah, man's got bugs and shit all over his windshield. Yeah. But Porky's looking nice and purdy. Just gave her a quick little detail today. Nothing too crazy. I still need to do the interior. One thing that annoys me so much about this is literally as soon as my rotors get wet, they start getting rusty. That's the only thing that pisses me off, but. Same, mine are like rusty as fuck right now. As soon as they get wet, they just start oxidizing right away. Damn, she looks fucking good. You know what the most painful thing in the world is? No netting or fishing off docks, thanks. Let's see what we have right here. Just look at all these monster snook. Just chilling here, but you can't fish here. Dude, these fish are beautiful. That's painful. And it looks like there's like a dead i don't know if that's like a shark or what that is whatever it is it's big and it's dead i don't know if you guys can see that but dude look at the size of these snook right here this is insane first catch of the night doing some night fishing waiting for andrew to get here caught this nice little whiting decent sized fish not too bad at all second catch of the day i managed to catch this giant seashell here we go another nice little whiting i didn't even know he was on i just had my pole casted out wasn't tugging it or nothing he was just chilling i already had another whiting on but unfortunately he was flopping away and ended up just flopping off into the water before I can hit him off. Catching a lot of whiting today. Another beautiful fish. Look how strong these guys are. Oh, and then he flops right out of my hand. Super strong fish. So I went to go get some food real quick. Andrew threw down the squid in the net to thaw it out so that way we can use it for bait. Caught these ugly crabs. Look at, the, look at this ugly thing. I don't know what kind of crab that is, but it's ugly as shit. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell me. And then he also caught a sea urchin. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one of those in person, except like a cooked one that I've ate before. Oh yeah? But you that's it. Doing? Yeah, but I ain't eating that. I got me some turkey subs and a monster. It's gonna be good for the night now. All right, Andrew claims he's got something big over here. It's probably a big old chunk of fucking seaweed. <laughs> That or a catfish. Let's see, what is it? Yep. Yeah, we're notorious for catching these things. Yep, pretty big gaff top. Easy where you're swinging that thing. Those things are death traps. Nice catch. Even though we don't like catching catfish, that's a pretty decent sized gaff top. Dude, look at the size of the claws on this crab. I would not want to get pinched by him. Dude, it's like making some weird noises. Here, get off, get off the net. Dude, that crab is, that's like Larry the Lobster, bro. If Lance 210 was a crab, this would be him. This crab is shredded. <laughs> Finally caught something different. This right here, I believe, 
this is a ladyfish. Nice catch too, pretty big. Dude, as soon as I cast it and this went into the water, this just took my line for a spin. Last night we had a pretty good night fishing, caught a bunch of stuff that we don't normally catch. Normally we're only catching catfish. Caught a bunch of cool things last night. Today, I think I'm kind of just gonna chill and do a few more things around the house. I still have some little things to do. I need to put up the new numbers on the house. I have a side light that I need to replace. Also gonna work on finishing organizing the garage. It still does smell like something died out there. I just, I can't can't seem to get rid of the smell. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions, but I'm open to everything. I've tried like Ozium. I've tried these like bags of like pellets to absorb the odor. Nothing seems to be working. I've looked everywhere and cannot find a dead animal. I just, I, I can't figure out where the smell is coming from, but it smells so bad. I literally had to rush to get the garage cleaned up because it's about to rain. You guys know I just washed the car yesterday. So I had to hurry up and get the garage done, get the car in here. Well, I cleaned the garage to try getting rid of the smell, whatever it was in here. I got to my Tesla to move it into the garage and guess what? Last night I left frozen squid in my trunk and it smells so bad in my car. So now I have to leave the windows rolled down in the Tesla to air it out in the garage that I just hopefully got rid of the smell in. This sucks. My car smells so bad right now. Just one thing after another. But I'll show you guys I got the garage all cleaned up, organized a bunch of boxes, literally went through, wiped down all the shelves, wiped down all the cabinets, got this area over here cleaned up as well. I went through swept, vacuumed, and mopped the entire garage floor. So it's looking 10 times better than it did before. It just sucks because now my car smells so bad. I still have some stuff in here that I need to unload that probably is gonna smell like squid now. It was sitting right here in my trunk and you could see some of the wetness in there right now. It's, oh my God, it's bad. I've probably told you guys this a million times at this point. My sleep schedule is so bad right now, but I just woke up to a notification on the ring, my king size bed frame that I ordered wasn't supposed to be here until between May 3rd and the 9th. Today's the 29th of April and it just got delivered. Probably gonna end up setting that up today. I do need to shower, get cleaned up, get this gunk out of my eyes, and then I'm gonna start setting up this bed frame. It's a different shaped bed frame than I would normally use. Dude, I feel like I have so much gunk in my eyes. It's actually disgusting. You know what? We'll pick this up after I shower. Before I jump in the shower, I went out to look at the box and I checked Amazon and it says that it hasn't even shipped yet. What I'm thinking is the bed is probably gonna be coming in different parts because the bed frame that I ordered has a pretty big headboard and there's no way it would fit in that box that's out there. So I'm thinking that might be like the lower part of the bed frame and then I have to wait for them to ship the headboard and ship the footboard separately. That's the only thing that I could think of because I was like, wait, what's getting delivered today? I didn't get a notification from Amazon that the bed frame was being delivered and then I had checked and like I said, it hadn't even shipped yet. Still gonna shower, probably start putting together what I do have right now and then figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. What are we gonna do for the rest of the day today be lazy you want to be lazy take a day off what do you think maybe just chill and play some video games today i think that sounds like a pretty good idea because i've been busting my ass around this house i'm busting my ass around here all you guys do is just sit here and lay on the ground and play with your toys and yeah all that all that stuff all right, I got a shower. You need to get your nails trimmed. That's what we need to do is get your nails trimmed. Freshly showered and after a few minutes, I did check Amazon. It said everything was delivered. So I opened it up and it does look like the headboard and the footboard and all that stuff. All the parts that I'm gonna need are in here right now. Jackson's really just trying to play. So I took the old metal bed frame out of the room, took the box springs, move those to the side, mattress, move that to the side. I'm gonna start bringing parts in here and hopefully be able to get this new bed frame set up today. I got the bed frame all put together. Another one of those things that I put together and it doesn't look like what it does when I order it It does not look like the pictures at all the headboard is much much smaller than I thought it was gonna be But overall, I mean it doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit better. There is a headboard It's just hidden behind my double stack pillows over there Also, I'm keeping the box springs out because if I put these box springs in the mattress itself is so thick that it would cover the headboard So I don't think you're supposed to use box springs with this type of bed frame that I got but it's nice because now the end tables are a lot more level with the bed and I'm definitely happy with how it turned out. Getting the last of the apartment cleaned up today. I mean, just look at the difference of the floor. So this is where the couch was. This is where the dogs would lay. This is where like my feet would go super dirty. And sure enough, you guys can hear that. It's like a hurricane outside. This would happen to me on the day that I'm getting the rest of the stuff out of the apartment and getting it cleaned up. All right, got the bathroom all cleaned up. That's good to go. Bedroom's basically done. Had to take down the curtains, vacuumed. Dude, I 
feel bad. These guys are definitely gonna have to paint these walls. I'm pretty sure when you leave an apartment, they do it anyways. This is where my desk was. And I would always put my feet up on the wall underneath the desk. Look how dirty the wall is. It's disgusting. And then I had all the panels here and it peeled all the paint off. But basically everything's done. Got like a couple of things I have to move down to the car. But obviously I'm not doing that right now because it's a torrential downpour outside. Alrighty guys, I think that is gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, subscribe with all notifications on. Also, make sure you guys add me on Activision. We're doing Warzone Customs tonight. And also make sure you guys are following me on Twitch. The link is literally going to be right in the top of the description. I love you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.